we're here with Jalal's mum, Olivia, after the rally, and Olivia, well done on not just speaking, but also organising this rally of the T-shirts, the and it was a really uh, powerful speech, so well done. Thank you. And I, I can only imagine what the, the past you know, year is, has been like. And you mentioned in your speech that you could have just you know, crawled up, but you've, you've fought this, you've fought for, for, for justice, and, and you're determined. Definitely. And as I said, it's, it's more so because of um, it's a support that I started seeing. And um, if it had it not been for that, um, I, think, I think I would have curled up into a wall. It's the support that I felt and, and saw everywhere that let me push on and fight on. Um, and also to set a, a massive example for my three boys that this is what we're doing for your brother um, and that his life isn't going to go in vain. We're going to fight for him and somehow get some sort of justice and even his legacy left behind with pushing for Jalal's law because this, this shouldn't happen to anyone ever again. Yes, your boys were there to support you as well because not only are you fighting this, you've got to you know, continue to be a mother and, and, and be strong strong for them. So like you said, you're, you're wanting to uh, set a good example and you know, make sure that their, their brothers remember. That's definitely, that's defi I mean, they know what I have on my plate isn't easy. Um, but when you're determined about something and you've got a, you've got a goal and, and there's, a, there's an end that you're trying to get to, I guess... It doesn't matter what's in your way. It doesn't matter if you've got 10 jobs and doing this one goal, you'll still, I'll still do it. That's just my mentality. And this is what I try to teach them as well. Now, despite what's happened to you, um, A.U. Deng was only sentenced to 80 hours community service, which only compounds your lo loss. You're starting to get a lot of public support now. The Facebook page is at 5,000, and you're lucky enough to have uh, Edward O'Donoghue speak uh, today, the Shadow uh, Corrections and Police Minister, pledging his support. Was that important? That, I can't even describe how massive that was for me. It was, that's huge, having his support here. Um, and then having him also backing this Jalal's law and backing the whole injustice of the whole outcome. So all, all, all the support and the backing that I am getting with from huge names and from people such as Edward, let me know and let me believe that I'm not just a mum who's going insane because she's sad about her baby that she lost. So what I saw and what I'm feeling, it's not just me, it's it's pretty much like an outcry by everyone that this is not on and it shouldn't have happened this way. And you've also got another uh, event uh, planned later on this year? Um, I haven't planned anything yet, but I did. it has come to my attention that she's due in court. Once again, you know, the lady doesn't want to listen to any of the laws in June, so I will be organising um, another walk for Jalal. Um, and hopefully that'll be another, another part of his journey and the... The bonus is that Ayu Ding will be there, she'll be at court, so that's the place where she was sentenced, that's where she can be seen, um, let's be heard, that, that, and that's where the, the magistrate is in there, that gave, thought it was fitting to give her 80 hours. And that's you know made it even worse, the fact that you know she is you know, not remorseful and she keeps committing offences. She just, she's a continuous lawbreaker, and do you blame her? Like if someone was pretty much just slapping you on the wrist and telling you, that's all right, you ran a red light, you'd be like, big deal, I'll run another one. Or that's okay, you just killed someone. Again, it's like, so if I kill another herd of people, big deal. She'll probably get 160 then, it'll just double the hours, double the people. Now, where can uh, people go to support you? You've got a, a justice fund. Uh, uh, we obviously want to get the, the message out to our viewers that uh, ways that they can offer their support. Everything that's, whether it be the petition, the help by the you know the GoFundMe to you know to help me pursue what I, what I want to do with with the three kids with fighting this and all the information whether it be news reports whether it be photos of things that I'm talking about the street that we lived on where she drove all of that is on Jalal's page which is the Justice for Jalal page. Well, well done again on your strength and you. uh, your courage today, and uh, keep fighting. And I I hope that you get more support. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.